What's up guys, this is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to JavaScript Code Academy. This will be uh, part six. So uh, let, let's, uh, let's get started here. All right, so um, I'm gonna go into JavaScript like we always do. And we are now on part six. So we are now on search text for your name. Searching large blocks of text can be tedious. But with JavaScript, it's a breeze. In this project, we'll show you how to search long blocks of text for important information, such as your name. So I'm going to click here, and we're going to go into the module. I'm going to reset this code. And uh, let's look what we have. We have seven in this section. And as always, my method is to just go to the instructions. So if we look at this, you know, we see we have some text here, a name, a hits. It looks like it's looping over this text, and it's checking um, if, uh, if you find it, then add characters and, uh, then it's doing a nested loop and it's pushing in, uh, it's pushing in that character into this array. So cool. And there we go. That's what you're going to get out of there. Um, so yeah, it's going to find it. Let's find all these Eric's, break them up into characters and push them into the array. So let me... Reset code, and let's see what we need to do. Declare and set the following. Um, let me reset the code and declare and set the following three variables. So the first one will be var text. Make it string containing some text. We'll say hello world. Second one will be var my name, and we'll just have it be a string containing my name, so Theo. Third one will be var hits. We'll set it equal to an empty array. Okay. And then let's submit our code, make sure we're on the right track. Let me reset this code. Now, uh, below, your, below your existing code, create a for loop that starts at zero. So for var i equals zero, um, continues until it reaches the end of the text. It's less than text out length, i plus plus. And now, um, increments by one each time. Okay, so that's all we need right now, the loop. We'll reset the code again and add your if statement in the body of your for loop you should check to see whether the current letter is equal to the first letter of your name so there's no need to put anything between the, your if yeah. so we'll just say if let's set up our condition and what do we want what do we, what do we want to do uh, see whether the current letter okay so if text of i which would be the letter we're on is equal to uh, the first letter of your name so my name um, it'll be, uh, I guess, my name is zero. And then let's see and submit our code. That's the condition we want. And now let's reset this code. And now what we want to do is add that. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's look. So, all right, let's look. We want to go ahead and add that second for loop inside of the body of the if statement. So we'll say, We'll now do a nested loop inside of here, and we will say um, for bar j equals i. So we're now on this current iteration. Um, and let's see, what else do we want to do? Uh, for bar j equals i, uh, j is less than, um, what would it be, text dot length j plus plus and now inside of here we will do hits dot push um, where are we going to push we are going to push um, text of j i think let me make sure this works for us Your second for loop should stop when it reaches its current point in the string plus my name dot length Okay, so, oh, my name, that length, reach the current one, the string, plus, so, uh, what will it be, let me look, let me reset this code and undo it, so, it's a push text of J, reset code, um, let me go back and look at the first one and see what they're doing. Okay, so for var 
j so j is less than my name dot link oh okay my name dot link plus i and we're gonna push uh, the text of j so let's go back into here second for loop so that's what I was missing j is my, my name dot length plus the current iteration of i which we're on and we're gonna push in j um, where j equals i j is less than text dot link Oh, I thought that is what they had. Let me look one more time. Sorry about that, guys. What bar j equals ij is less than. Oh, okay. I need to have it like that. So let me go back into 5 and we will now look at this again and paste this in here. Let me see that there's a problem with your syntax. I expect a token. Where is it? Let me see. Isn't pushing values to the hits array. Make sure it's working properly. And that my name's text appears in one of the text variable. Um, let me look one more time. Text to i is equal to. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So we could just do this. Equal to t. And let's submit our code. Alright, yeah. Code Academy is being pretty buggy right now, so let me just let me just grab this, grab this, take out this, change this to a T, and submit our code. Looks like your second for loop isn't pushing values to the hits array. My name is six here somewhere in the code. Name hits dot push a text of I. Oh, uh, wait, 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 if text of i equals characters to the length of, uh, if text of i equals, uh, okay, hello, the world. There we go. We needed to have my name in that string. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Let's reset our code. And under your existing code and outside of all your loops, set up an if else statement. So we're going to do that. We're going to set up our if else statement. And uh, what we want to do here, all we want to do is say, um, if you don't have any hits, uh, if hits.length is equal to zero, then we'll console.log. Uh, your name wasn't found. Just put this in uh, double, double quotes, and otherwise, log to the console the hits array comes to log hits let's run this there we go Theo. cool uh move on and finally we've done it nice work now as we mentioned the system isn't perfect for instance the paragraph contains both eric and eddie we'll see this in our array okay think about how you might fine tune this program make sure it only finds um exact matches for your name okay so i'm going to show you guys a really quick way to do that um we could do is we could we could do um say we want to search the name we could do something like this we could do text dot search and we put in a name and what this will do i'll show you guys when we log out this is a built-in javascript method so say we have my name submit our code console dot sorry console dot log submit my name right and we get a six which means that it does contain my entire name. That's showing the index it found it on. Say we change this to, uh, I don't know, uh, Theodore, right? I don't think this should this should not work. This should be negative one because it's searching it for this whole string, right? But if we change it to the, you know, I think yeah, we should still get it. So again, this is still not a perfect method. Uh, you could probably do that, and then you could check the first and the last letter, you know, and uh, match it up completely, but uh, search, you know, fine tunes what you want to look for. Um, so that's it guys. Sorry about the little hiccup. Let's go over one more time. Um, let's go back to one and, and look at that real quick. Just hopefully you guys can understand it. So we have this text. We have a name, which is a string, and a hits, which is an empty array. We're looping through the text and we're saying if um, if any of the characters in the text is an uppercase E, then um, 
we want to start a new for loop with uh, j starting on whatever index we're on currently. Um, so in this case, you know, maybe this is like 25. So for var j equals 25, we want to start there, okay? And uh, and uh, then we want to look at the uh, the length of the name that we we got plus one or plus uh, plus the current value of i that we're on. Okay, so we look ahead and then we want to increment j and we want to push onto our array. Um, we want to push onto our array the Eric name but we're going to split it out into characters and then finally we're going to log out at the end what's going on. Um, it's kind of a little bit confusing, but uh, yeah, guys, that was um, search your text for your name. Up next, we're going to do uh, our while loops. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any feedback. Always appreciate the support. And thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Please make sure to subscribe and support the channel. Thanks. Have a great day.